this video is all about the Swedish school system. It is a little bit different to the UK's or the US school system and so I thought I would share it in a video. <laughs> and just to point out, I am Swedish. I am born and raised in Sweden and I have gone to Swedish school. So in Sweden, a child starts school at the age of six. Before children start school, they go to preschools and that is from the age of like one to six. And then when they're six, they start school. In Sweden, primary school is divided into two stages, early stage and later stage. So early stage is from the age of six to 11 and then later stage is from the age of 12 to 15. At the age of 16, you start something that is called, in Swedish, gymnasiet, which would be the equivalent of the UK's college or the US high school. So at the age of 15, you get to choose a gymnasiet that suits what you want to do as a grown up. You want to be an accountant, you want to be a nurse, you want to study theater that gives you zero education. Theater was fun. And now I can at least act like I give a shit about people. At the age of 18 going on 19, you normally graduate gymnasiet, which means you get to buy an expensive sailor looking hat and wear it one whole day. It's also a day in your life where you get to drink from seven o'clock in the morning to five o'clock the next morning. And this tradition actually goes back to the Viking Ages, where they drank a lot. <laughs> and then after Jumnasiet, Sweden has university. Sweden also have konvuks, where you get to study the subjects that you were too lazy to study in Jumnasiet to actually get the grades that you want to get. However, you can only study at konvuks if you are an adult. Sweden has universitetet, which is university, and Sweden also have högskolan, which is university. Oh, I also forgot to mention that education in Sweden is free. Free of charge. Did you know that in Sweden, students get paid to study? Yeah, it is true. At Gymnasiet, the student gets paid 1,250 Swedish crowns each month during the months that you are in school. When I went to Gymnasiet, I got paid 1,050 Swedish crowns, but recently the government have decided to give more. Thank you and pay your taxes. 1,250 Swedish crowns is roughly the equivalent of 105 pounds, 137 US dollars, and 118 euros. For someone who goes to university, the student allowance used to be 2,882 Swedish crowns, but now, it is now 3,164 Swedish crowns. Thank you. Thank you. 3,164 Swedish crowns is roughly the equivalent of 267 pounds, 348 US dollars, and 299 euros. But that means that you have to go to school, you have to do your coursework, you have to pass your exams, otherwise, no money. I want money, so I'm gonna study. You can also get a CSN loan, which is you borrow money. It's never too late to study in Sweden. So there you have it. Swedish edu- Look, I have so many- This is also tradition. People write in your Viking hats. Did my ears do this on graduation day? I cannot remember. I had a comment saying, sometimes when you talk, I can hear your Swedish accent. And I was like, So that was the Swedish school system and how it works. I've probably forgot to mention things. I'm gonna go study now so I can get my student allowance. Thank you so much for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will see you. Oh, subscribe please if, if you want to.
I will see you in my next video. Take care. Bye.